Ashes of Creation just gave us our first good look at an Alpha 2 raid boss today as they continue to listen to player feedback on the live streams, giving us a very good presentation. The stream starts off as always with Steven in the Riverlands, hopefully for the last time, because as much as I love seeing the Riverlands, it's time to move on. We're done with it, Steven. Give me the desert or the jungle or even the tropics again. We've seen Carfin, we've seen the world boss, and unless Intrepid is going to dive into the ruins of the city of Ayla and show us the human starting zone, I'm ready to see more of the world. But anyways, within this showcase, the season was set to winter and we did see some pretty cool spiders hanging out, which get into a defensive position when players approach them, which I thought was really cool. They didn't straight up aggro, but had a standoff with the player and left you alone as you walked away, which I thought was a really cool way to handle some NPC interactions. You can also see a small encampment in the background at one point, perhaps being the beginning stages of a node, or maybe it's just a camp for NPCs like we saw in the beginning of the tank showcase. Anyways, as Steven begins his adventure, we eventually come across the Fell Reaver of the Riverlands, a cyclops by the name of Tamak, whom has left his home of Sujamo, an island off the northwestern coast of Vera, where all cyclops come from. This guy once tried to join up with the ancients, brought some friends along for the ride, and now his friends are dead, and he walks in exile throughout the Riverlands, literally knocking over trees as he goes. The tree knocking over thing also ties into the land management system we heard about last year, which could cause trees not to grow back as quickly if Tumok is allowed to destroy too many. So something players may want to consider when this guy pops up. Tumok is the first world boss you will encounter as a player within the Riverlands and is level 30, which according to Steven, players around the level range of 22 to 35 will be able to take on this boss and be challenged. And he's not an overly complex boss and is designed to be a bit more of an introductory experience to raiding, which as the first boss you encounter, that makes sense. Diving right into the fight though, you can see the new raid UI on screen with 16 people taking on a boss, although it will be meant for many more when Alpha 2 comes along. We also see some updated nameplates for characters, which we know were something that have been in the works from the beginning of the year and we're now seeing them come together. Throughout the fight, we see the Cyclops go through multiple phases, along with seeing a few perspectives of different classes. In phase one, Tumok makes great use of his tree as he slams it down doing a tank spike, bashing the tank with a tree stump, a tree charge which he uses the tree as a spear, along with a root swing type ability, which looks to make roots come out of the ground when he attacks. He also shoots out some strange fungus breath at times in straight lines to the players. As you get towards the end of the first phase, Tumok will slam his tree down, turning it into a totem where players will need to focus damage on this totem because the totem spawns mushrooms that when fully grown can be smashed by Tumok healing him for a lot of health. So you're really going to need to balance your DPS between the mushrooms growing and the totem to get it down quickly. But when these mushrooms explode they can also heal players which could be used in some cool strategies. When you finally kill his totem it enrages Tumok and he now performs more damage and does ground slam like attacks. But since his tree is gone there is no more healing or fungus abilities or tree AoE attacks to worry about. Eventually though Tumok will die and appears to be taken down pretty easily, especially for a party that is half the size of what is expected from a full raid group. Dropping some loot such as a short bow, a long bow, a mace, and a sword, which I assume are the ones that we've seen in past live streams, which can be claimed using the greater pass. Throughout the fight, we also see some different perspectives. We see a cleric, which appears to have a couple more abilities compared to we saw him last November. We see Steven and the mage using the staff, and the abilities of the mage with the staff seem to change channel from the staff and not the player's hands, which is pretty cool. There's also a mage running around with a wand and a orb in his offhand, and a lot of these guys have health and mana potions on their action bars, which is something we haven't actually seen. We also at one point see Steven cast Blizzard, which looks pretty different from what we saw last month, giving a more frosty wave coming off around the player's feet. I don't know if this is due to the fact that it is winter in the Riverlands and seasons have an impact on abilities, or they just made tweaks to the visual effects. Overall though, I thought this was a solid performance from the Cyclops, but I would like to see him with a little bit more health and be a bit longer to take down come Alpha 2. It wasn't too short like we've seen in the past, but for someone who died in less than 10 minutes with a party half the size that it should have been, we will definitely need to see some tuning from it. I do also like the raid UI, but it needs to do a better job at distinguishing class types as the small class icon next to the player name is very hard to make out. I also would like to see more of the other classes in future streams as the transitions seem to be a bit more of an in a blink of the eye 
type of deal and returning to Steven rather quickly instead of sticking with the different archetypes. And also, where are the Phoenix Initiative testers? This could just mean that they're not testing yet, and their Intrepid's doing all internal, which would be a bit disappointing. I kind of thought they were doing testing up through this point. Maybe not. I don't know. Again, I'm not PI, so I couldn't tell you. But overall, I think it was a pretty cool looking early level fight for Ashes of Creation. If you made it this far into the video, then I assume you are enjoying this content, so please do me a huge favor and click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, and comment down below your thoughts on the Cyclops stream. Otherwise, if you are new to Ashes and you've yet to create an account, feel free to use my referral link in the description below where you can jump in on the forums, buy some cosmetics, or just hang out until you can finally step foot into the world of Vera. Otherwise, be sure to stay tuned for a lot more to come.